All right, for this tutorial, we're gonna look at how to secure interviews. What you do, what the protocol is, and the best techniques and the kind of worst techniques scaling down. So, first you're going to start with research and investigating the p potential people to interview. This means hitting Google, doing some, go uh, uh, some searches of local experts, also looking at kind of like the the main expert leaders in that field, right? So it's not just people locally, although that does have a good, that's when we can meet them in person, that uh, is good. But it also means who is the top, top, top expert in this? Can we secure an interview with them? You what When you do this, you wanna find an actual person's name, you don't wanna just do an organization, um, and you kinda of just wanna do your due diligence. So. Let's just try it. So say that there was, um, we were talking about, uh, I'll say, um, NASA and the, the Mars mission. So Mars mission, uh, Elon Musk wants to go to, the, to Mars, um, leading expert on Mars mission. So we can do our story development. We're going to find different uh, sources, but experts on Mars, Planetary Science Institute. Okay. So now look at this. Now we got a whole bunch of different people that we can start uh, reaching out to, right? Um, we can start to, we have a whole bunch of leads and we can start seeing what their techniques are and looking at where they are. Um, we can also start to actually Google some specific names. So if we have Gretchen here, look at that. Right here, we already got an email. So let's stay on this um, example here. So we have Dr. Uh, Gretchen Benedicts. We're going to look at her research history. Uh, she was a fellow of Meteorological Society. She, she's got an impressive um, resume here. So looks pretty legit, right? So once we start to think about do about finding this person seeing their expert looking at their background and their schooling and experience all of these things we're going to then start to reach out to them so we have an email that's great but what we're going to do is the best practices here if you can get that person if you can see that person or get a telephone call always the best that will get an immediate uh, response and you have them on, on the line. Um, if not, you can do a voicemail to explain who you are. We have email templates I'll show you in a second. Um, but the next best thing is uh, direct messaging. So can you reach out to them on uh, Twitter or Instagram or Facebook? Uh, LinkedIn is also a good uh, place. The worst is email. If you shoot off an email, it not only is it uh, unlikely that they'll get back to you, but also, it takes time to get back to email. So we'll talk about a little bit more of the techniques in a second for that, too. So uh, we have Dr. Gretchen uh, Benedix here. We have her thing here. But we can also take her name, do a little bit more research. And we can see that she is on Twitter. And look at that. She only has 217 followers here. So you know, we can probably uh, get to her um, and, and message her. So she's pretty active too. So this, so this is January 31st. One thing to look at is how frequently they post. If it's every, you know, if they posted once in the last five years, they probably don't look at the account too much, but they look pretty active. So then you could, you could message here. You could also try to see if there's any other um, social media accounts too. So, found somebody, we uh, have an email. You, what you wanna do is you wanna try, exhaust all of these avenues. So you wanna send her an email, you also wanna direct message her, you also wanna call her if, if we can, okay? So we're, you're doing all these things simultaneously. So you're bombarding for those contacts, right? Um, the other part of this is that when you send this initial email, I'll show you this. You're going to use some of this language where you're going to introduce yourself 
introduce what the transcript is and a little bit about how, you know, like we're pretty legit, you can introduce the questions and the topic that you're doing and schedule an actual time. This is super important. Date and time. If you're available to meet at X and X, don't make it so it's like, oh, uh, could you meet? And then they say yes. And it's like, okay, what time? You're going to lose you're going to lose a lot of time doing that. So uh, schedule an actual thing. If you have your own Zoom link, put that Zoom link in so you immediately establish a connection there. Um, if you have previous work, you can also put that. It's not necessarily needed, but how can they get a hold of you immediately? The Insta, um, Facebook Messenger, Twitter. So you have a whole bunch of different things that you're doing. You're immediately establishing contact. You're giving a little context of what we're doing. You're putting the questions. You're specifically putting a time and date. You're going to put your Zoom link, and you're also going to put uh, ways in which they can contact you easier and more immediately. So, when you do this, what you all, what you want to do is um, do this, but you want to do it for a lot of people, five people, ten people. That's what spray and pray is here. You spray out this entire thing and you pray that it works. You want to see if there's, um, some people might get not get back to you. There might be three or four people that get back to you. In that case, what you want to do is say, hey, thank you. We've secured an interview with, uh, with uh, another individual, but would you be willing to uh, assist us in the future on similar topics? And you start and you get a, establish a relationship there. Okay, so you do this with multiple people and you do it over and over and you make sure that you're following um, you following all this protocol. Okay, interview protocol. Uh, you don't necessarily have to give them the questions beforehand, but if they ask, you want to give it to them. Keep it really concise. Okay, uh, three to four questions. You don't want these interviews going, you know, 15, 20 minutes because you're going to have to edit all this stuff down. You want to do this um, very targeted. If you once you start getting comfortable, you can make them longer and longer. But just stick to the very specific questions that you're doing here, um, and yeah.